Hi everyone, today we're going to cover how to download Eclipse and set it up for Java environment. Before downloading Eclipse, we need to make sure we have access to Java APIs, which means we have to download Java Development Kit, aka JDK. Uh, if you don't know what APIs are, be sure to watch my tutorial on Java APIs. Okay, I'm going to be searching for JDK files for Java. And I'm going to go to oracle.com. Over here, I'm going to look for JDK downloads. So I will click over here. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And then you have to look for your operating system. Mine is Windows 64. Remember, it has to be 64. And I'm going to click over here. I have to accept the agreements. And then I click to download. I already have one downloaded, but I'm going to re-download it again to show you guys what we have to do. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to overwrite that. It's downloading down here. Go ahead and run it. So I'll just click on it to run it. It's telling me that this software has already been installed in your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm just going to say yes. I just want to show you how this is going to work out. And then I click next. Next. Now let's make sure the correct version is downloaded under my program files and in my system. Program files to Java and it's right over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to bin files and once I have this over here, I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to go to my control panel. And then I'm going to go to System and Security. From here, I'm going to go to System, Advanced System Setting, which will open this up for me. And then I'm going to go to Environment Variables. Over here, I'm going to click on Path. And this will open, as I said, I've already had this in here. I'm going to delete this and re-put it in here. So I'm just going to add New. And I'm going to paste that path that I copied over here. And I'm going to click OK, OK, OK. So we're going to close all of these. Now I'm going to test to see if I have the updated version of JDK. So over here I'm going to go to my root directory and then I'm going to paste uh, what I had copied over there. And here I'm going to write Java version dash version. Here I see all the updated information. We downloaded the newest version of JDK, which is 14.0.2. Now let's check to see if our Java compiler is working. We're using Java C. If a bunch of code shows up, then I know it's working. And there it is. And this is showing me that my Java compiler is also working. Now let's download the newest version of Eclipse. We need to search for Eclipse ID and I need to go to eclipse.org. So once we go over here, we can click on download and I'm going to be downloading for 64 bit and download. And I'm going to save it. So it's going to start downloading my Eclipse. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to click to run it. Eclipse installer window will open up. And there are a bunch of different options for me here, but what, I would, what I'm going to click on is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. That's what we want to have. And right over here, it's showing me where it is located, and that's fine. So I'm going to install it. Now I'm going to launch it. It's asking me this is where the workspace is going to be and that's fine but please make sure that you always check where your files are going to be located in. So I'm going to launch it now. This is the welcome window with some useful information. It usually shows up the first time you download Eclipse. Let's close this window now. Now this is your environment. Before writing your Java program, we need to create a Java project and a class. Okay, now let's create our first project. I'm going to click on File, New, 
Java project. I'm going to call it my project. And I'm going to click next. Everything looks good, so I'm going to click on finish and create. Perfect. Now I'm going to create my class file. This is where I'm going to be writing my Java programming. So I'm going to create the class file. I'm going to call it, let's say, um, hello world. And I'm going to click to automatically include my main method, the public static void main, and finish. And here it is. This is the environment I'm going to be writing my program in. Let's just add a simple code in here to print hello world for us in here. So I'm just going to write system.out.print line and then string literal hello world. And of course I'll end it with a semicolon since it's in statement. Let's run this program very quick. And I'm going to say OK and it printed out hello world this will conclude this tutorial i hope this helped you guys set up your environment as well as uh, setting up and getting started with your first program in eclipse